Hay fever allergy busted. Hay fever, also called allergic rhinitis, causes seasonal cold-like signs and symptoms, such as a runny nose, itchy eyes, congestion, sneezing and sinus pressure. But unlike a cold, hay fever isn't caused by a virus. Hay fever is caused by our body's allergic response to outdoor or indoor allergens, such as pollen, dust mites, or tiny flecks of skin and saliva shed by cats, dogs, and other animals with fur or feathers, called pet dander. Besides making you miserable, hay fever can affect your performance at work or school and generally interfere with your life. But you don't have to put up with annoying symptoms. You can learn to avoid triggers and find the right treatment. Symptoms of hay fever Depending on individual's health conditions, hay fever signs and symptoms can include runny nose, nasal congestion, watery, itchy, red eyes, allergic conjunctivitis, sneezing, cough, itchy nose, roof of mouth or throat swollen, blue-colored skin under the eyes, allergic shiners, post-nasal drip, and fatigue. Seasonal Factors Your hay fever signs and symptoms may start or worsen at a particular time of year. Triggers may include tree pollen, which is common in early spring, grass pollen, which is common in late spring and summer, ragweed pollen, which is common in fall, Dust mites, cockroaches, and dander from pets can be bothersome year-round, perennial. Symptoms caused by dander might worsen in winter, when houses are closed up. Spores from indoor and outdoor fungi and molds are considered both seasonal and perennial. Seasonally related triggers While the term seasonal allergies generally refers to grass, pollen and mold, there is a different group of triggers that are closely tied to particular hay fever seasons. Among them, smoke, campfires in summer, fireplaces in winter, insect bites and stings, usually in spring and summer, chlorine in indoor and outdoor swimming pools, candy ingredients, Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day, Easter, pine trees and wreaths, Thanksgiving to Christmas. Your body works in overdrive. When you have hay fever, your immune system identifies an actually harmless airborne substance as harmful. Your immune system then produces antibodies to fight this harmless substance. The next time you come in contact with a substance, these antibodies signal your immune system to release chemicals such as histamine into your bloodstream, which cause a strong reaction that leads to the signs and symptoms of hay fever. Good Home Remedies It's not possible to completely avoid all allergens, but you can reduce your symptoms by limiting your exposure to them. If you know what you're allergic to, you can avoid your triggers. If pollen or mold triggers, close all doors and windows during pollen season. Don't hang laundry outside pollen can stick to sheets and towels. Use air conditioning in your house and car. Use an allergy-grade filter in your home ventilation system and change it regularly. Avoid outdoor activity in the early morning, when pollen counts are highest. Stay indoors on dry, windy days. Use a dehumidifier to reduce indoor humidity. Use a high-efficiency particulate air filter in your bedroom and other rooms where you spend a lot of time. Avoid mowing the lawn or raking leaves. Wear a dust mask when cleaning house or gardening. If dust might triggers. Use allergy-proof covers on all beddings, such as mattresses, box springs, and pillows. Wash sheets and blankets in water heated to at least 130 F. Use a dehumidifier or air conditioner to reduce indoor humidity. Vacuum carpets weekly with a vacuum cleaner equipped with a small particle or HEPA filter. Spray insecticide designed to kill dust mites and approved for indoor use on carpets, furniture, and bedding. Consider removing carpeting, especially where you sleep, 
if you're highly sensitive to dust mites. If cock roach it triggers. Block all cracks and crevices where roaches can enter. Fix leaky faucets and pipes. Wash dishes and empty garbage daily. Sweep food crumbs from counters and floors. Store food, including pet food, in sealed containers. Consider professional pest extermination. If pet dander triggers. Keep pets out of your home, if possible. Bathe the dogs twice a week, if possible. Vacuum the floor more often. Wipe flat surfaces more often. The benefit of bathing cats hasn't been proved. Keep pets out of your bedroom and off furniture. Over-the-counter treatments Many stores have over-the-counter drugs or tools available for hay fever, such as 1. Antihistamines reduce sneezing, sniffling, and itching by lowering the amount of histamine in your body. 2. Decongestants shrink the blood vessels in the nasal passageways to relieve congestion and swelling. 3. Nasal spray decongestants relieve congestion and may clear clogged nasal passages faster than oral decongestants without some of the side effects. 4. Eye drops relieve itchy. Watery eyes. Ketodifin, Tsanitor, is available over the counter. 5. Nasal irrigation uses a combination of warm water, about a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda to clear out mucus and open sinus passages. You can use a squeeze bottle or a needy pot, which looks like a small teapot. Use distilled, sterile, or previously boiled water to make up the solution. It's also important to rinse the irrigation device after each use and leave it open to air dry. Alternative Medicine While there isn't much evidence about how well alternative treatments work, a number of people try them for hay fever. These include 1. Herbal Remedies and Supplements Extracts of the shrub butterbur may help prevent seasonal allergy symptoms. If you try butterbur, be sure to use a product that's labeled paw free, which indicates that it's had potentially toxic substances removed. There's some limited evidence that spirulina and tinospora cordifolia also may be effective. Though their benefits are unclear, other herbal remedies for seasonal allergies include capsicum, honey, vitamin C, and fish oil. 2. Acupuncture some people claim that acupuncture can help with seasonal allergy symptoms. There's limited evidence that these treatments work, but there's also little evidence of harm. When to see a doctor? There are different severity levels of hay fever. See your doctor if you can find relief from your hay fever symptoms. Allergy medications don't provide relief or cause annoying side effects. You have another condition that can worsen hay fever symptoms, such as nasal polyps, asthma, or frequent sinus infections. Many people, especially children, get used to hay fever symptoms, so they might not seek treatment until the symptoms become severe. But getting the right medical treatment should offer quick relief. Medical Diagnosis Your doctor will perform a physical examination on you first, take a medical history, and possibly recommend one or both of the following tests. 1. Skin prick test. You're watched for an allergic reaction after small amounts of material that can trigger allergies are pricked into the skin of your arm or upper back. If you're allergic, you develop a raised bump or hive at the site of that allergen. Allergy specialists usually are best equipped to perform allergy skin tests. 2. Allergy Blood Test A blood sample is sent to a lab to measure your immune system's response to a specific allergen. Also called the radioallergosorbent test, called RAST, this test measures the amount of allergy-causing antibodies in your bloodstream, known as immunoglobulin E antibodies. The Takeaway The symptoms of seasonal allergies can be uncomfortable, and vary by person. If you suspect you have seasonal allergies and the symptoms are not severe, 
home remedies can be tried first to relieve the symptoms. If symptoms really affect your life, over-the-counter medicine, alternatives medicines are the next steps. Please always talk with your doctor when more help is needed. They can help diagnose the cause of your symptoms and prescribe a treatment plan. They will likely encourage you to take steps to avoid your allergy triggers. They may also recommend over-the-counter or prescription medications. Health is very important to everyone. Don't let other activities consume all of your time and energy. Proper awareness and attention to early signs of abnormal symptoms are keys to keep us healthy. Early treatment is always more effective than late emergency actions. May you stay healthy and have abundant of happy life. Please like and subscribe this channel for more health-related videos. Thank you.